guys, it's Margaret and today I'm bringing you another video about how I research items and get keywords for my title, description, and how I find the prices for them. I'm working on some necklaces that I got from my latest jewelry bag unboxing and I hope that you find it uh, beneficial. All right, so this is the first item that I'm looking at listing. This is a long plastic Harlequin type bead necklace. And it's not something that originally I might have thought of listing, but the movie Suicide Squad is out and the character Harlequin, Harley Quinn is really popular right now. So I think that this might do okay. Uh, and I'm willing to take a try on it. So these are the photos I took. I was challenged to find one that I really liked, but I, I think I've got a couple, so. I'll probably make my um, close my first photo a close-up one that shows all the different colors of beads and the size um, and the style of them. Alrighty, so let's take a look at what I found so far. So when I initially started my search, I just typed in plastic harlequin bead necklace and looked for similars um, in the Google images and also in the Google solds. And what I found was not what I was looking for. I put Harlequin beads, which brought up different colored beads, but I wasn't finding this particular shape of beads. And I want to make sure that when I list this, I'm able to say what this kind of bead is, because I think that that might help when I sell it. So again, this was when I looked at the Google, what was on the Google shopping side of it, but I didn't again find what I was looking for. So I realized at that point that I needed to do a search for the different shapes of beads. So I typed in what are the names of different shapes of beads or something along those lines. And I found this website and it turns out that this type of bead is called a bicone. If I can <laughs> highlight just that part, but no, I can't. So here we go. There we are. Bicone. Uh, is a shape resembling two cones, smooth or faceted. This one is faceted somewhat. Um, and joined at the base. The center can be round or have flat sides, blah, 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 Also known as a Hogan, especially if it is corrugated. Mine is not corrugated, which means that there would be like these lines along in there. Let me see if I can, I thought I pulled a picture of what that meant, but, but no. Okay. So, uh, sometimes this is called rondelle or roundel, but I don't have that uh, corrugated style. So I know now that I can use the keyword bicone, the keyword faceted, and the keyword hogan in case someone is looking for those terms. It might narrow it down for me. And then I typed in bicone harlequin bead necklace. I didn't, again, find exactly what I was looking for here. There was a little bit. Um, so there was this one. And I think these are being sold as someone, you know, you, you would buy those to make necklaces. So it was more on the supply end of it. And then I searched, let's see, what was this? Uh, bicone harlequin, this was just a Google image search. And I found some that were similar somewhat similar. See, these ones are not what you would call faceted though. Okay. So these ones, these ones are glass. I'm trying to click through as I did. And these ones are Czech rainbow bicone glass bead necklace. Okay. So, so it, this one is selling for 19, 19 pounds and 99 pence. So that kind of gives me a a jumping off point. First of all, I can see some good keywords there. I won't use Czech because mine are not Czech. Um, but I can use rainbow, harlequin, bicone, plastic, bead, necklace in my description, or my title, that is. And here we have Etsy, and I'm looking up what I'm seeing there. And these are, you know, again, not sold, but here's one blue faceted. I bet these are, are crystal or glass, 10.99. Did I type in plastic? Oh, I did. Okay. So they may pull up as plastic ones. All right. $8. Um... I'm not seeing one exactly like mine that's got all of the different colors. I think that that's going to let me get a higher price for it. For example, this blue one is $10.99. I'm going to open that in another tab because it looks like they've got some good details in their um, title, which I like to, I won't necessarily copy and paste someone else's title, but it'll give me a good idea for other keywords that I might use. So here we have this one, plastic glazed bicone bead necklace, faceted, hard plastic. All right, so there's that one for $10.99. This one, double strand, no. Okay, so I can't use that keyword, but this one is selling for $8. Hmm, 
And then here, sold on eBay. I looked up, and I'm not seeing any that are sold. You know, this is something a little bit different. Aurora Borealis. Just loose beads, you know, people are selling. And then on not sold, what are we looking at? Eh, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, here we have pearlized colors, but mine are not really pearlized colors, but it gives me the idea to say, you know, bright colors. Uh, let's see, I can't necessarily say primary colors because they're not all primary colors, uh, but that's okay. So here we go. I'm going into my listings manager on Etsy. I like to start on Etsy because I, I find it takes me longer. And here I'm going to just type in beaded necklace to see if I have something that's active or sold or sold out or expired that I can use to copy the listing. That's one. I may use this one to copy because they have a similar shape, you know. So that says active. Oops, that's not what I want. So I want to come down here and copy. I want to make sure I'm using the copy version so I'm not editing a, a good listing. And then I will start adding in. All right, so on Etsy, I can only choose five photos, so I want to make sure that I use uh, good ones. So I'll choose this one that shows the length of it. I want a close-up. And then this one shows, it's not the best picture, but it shows it all uh, length, longed out. That's not the right word. All right, so let's get my keywords in here. So, long harlequin bead necklace, long, colorful, harlequin bead necklace, plastic, bicone. All right, let's go back and look at some of the other faceted. That's what I'm forgetting. Plastic, bicone, faceted, harlequin. And he, on, on Etsy, it's a little bit different. Like on eBay, I may not repeat the same keywords, but you have a lot more uh, real estate, as they say, a lot more room to write. So uh, I have a little more leeway there. What were those other keywords that I looked in? Hogan and I already used. Okay, so here's my title. Long colorful harlequin bead necklace, plastic bicone bi beaded necklace, faceted harlequin necklace, hogan shaped bead necklace, and bright colors. Now I want to choose one of these other photos to be my primary photo. I can adjust my thumbnail. Looks good but I maybe want to go back and put the length because I've got, and here's how I took the pictures. These ones will end up on the eBay listing. So I can see, you know, this is 12 inches and then the rest of it was this long. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, about 18 inches times two because it's doubled over. So that's what, 36 inches? So I can go in here and put 36 inches take out maybe necklace on this one. Alrighty, another, so about this listing, another company, finished product before 1997. Jewelry, I am gonna put the price of $21.99 on it, just to see. And then the first thing I will do here is copy and paste the title, that'll be my first line, right there. Okay, so here's my description on this one. Uh, this beautiful strand of plastic harlequin beads is the perfect addition to brighten up any outfit or costume, slides on and off over the head. Measurements approximately 36 inches long and condition minor wear with normal use. And then I have all my normal stuff that I keep in here. Shop section, very good. This is my shipping. And then down here is where I need to change some of the, the tags. This is why I do this one first because it, it takes longer. Okay, so when I get stuck, so here I'm on my tags, multicolor beads, harlequin necklace, harlequin beads. I'm trying to think of what people might search for, colorful beads, long necklace, clown beads, and then when I get stuck, I'll go back and look at some of these and look at the um, look at the tags that they might have used or ones that are tucked in on there. So here we go. Beaded, vintage, long, blue, faceted. So I don't have faceted on here. So faceted, bead. All right, so there we go. Materials, plastic. And then normally I don't fill in this type of thing unless it's specifically Christmas or things like that. All right, so here we've got my listing for these. Publish and let's take a look. And here we have it. View the listing on Etsy. And this is how it looks. All right. Beautiful. 
So now what I do is just open up eBay and copy and paste it over on eBay. So the next necklace that I am including in this one, I almost didn't, but I went ahead and challenged myself to include it. The reason I was not going to include it on this video was that this necklace has got a lot going on. I mean, there are multiple styles of chains. There are multiple clasps. There are, I mean, it's got these little pearls on the ends of these S's. I mean, this, I didn't, honestly, I didn't know where to start. So I thought, you know what, this is, this is why I do this, because I'm sure you've got that piece, that necklace, that piece of jewelry that you're looking at thinking, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start on describing this thing and how to, to come up with a title or keywords or find out what it, what it is. So here's what I went ahead and did. I looked at it and said, what do I see? I see metal. I see pearl beads, you know, pearl style beads are not real pearls. I see this distressed look. I see this antique to look. It looks sort of industrial meets uh, Victorian-ish. So maybe that steampunk look to it. So those were all things that I started with in my brain. All right, so here's what I did. My first uh, search was, let me scooch it so you can see. Here, I'll put it up over on the side. Here's my first search. Distressed metal and pearl bead necklace. Because I knew this was not, I mean, it looked brass-ish, but it, I know it's not like actually brass, or I don't think it is. And I didn't come up with a ton. I mean, a little bit popped up, but not a lot. So I looked at the images. I looked at the shopping side of it. And then from there, I went with, okay, let me go ahead and try out bronze. So bronze and pearl bead necklace is what I searched next. I felt like I was getting a bit closer here where you can see there's kind of a pearliness with, you know, the, the chain. And I did like the multi-chain keyword because I have multi-chain on mine. So that was a good one to keep, this one multi-chain. And they're selling theirs for $28. Next, I searched, no, that's the same because I was looking into a little bit closer <clears throat> into that one. Here it is. So that's that. And then I found also on that search page, this one on a Pinterest, not on Pinterest, but on Etsy. So multi-strand, it's got pearls. I mean, now this one probably has, I don't know if these are real, it says freshwater pearls, but we'll see. Antique bronze textured chain. Okay, so that was a good keyword for me right there. So I liked that, that antique look. So mine is not actually antique, but I can say it's antiqued or antique style. So I went there, antiqued bronze chains, necklace, pearl, and saw what all pulled up there. This one was a little bit similar. This one a little bit. We're getting closer is what I felt. So there's this one again. I'm clicking through because that's what I did. I clicked on things and clicked on the next thing to open up a new tab. So here we have this one, multi-strand necklace, layered chain necklace. So this also gives me statement necklace, a few more keywords. I'm probably going to add in that steampunk, that industrial, because it, it does mix. I mean, to me, it looks like that sort of industrial steampunk style. Um, so I think I will. This one, again, I didn't get as many keywords off that one. Let me close that out. And this one was similar to maybe the same one that I, I showed you a second ago. These were those beads. It looks like someone sells them as a supply but uh, antiqued bronze links, that was what I was looking at. And then, ooh, why didn't I open this one? Good question. So let's just close it out. <laughs> so here, this one, I tried to open it up, but it didn't take me to the right page, but I, I kept it on here because um, I liked to see the description, bronze bliss, fancy double chain pearl. So I, I you know, the double chain right there. Pearls, crystal, no, I don't have crystal. Okay, and then this one, again, I also kept open because it was giving me the names of the different styles of chains, because like this one has got these oblong ones, and it's got these round ones, and these big round ones, and so I liked that this was telling me that this is cable chains, that's what that's called, and then there was another one that told me it was open link chain, so that gave me a bit more description on describing some of my chain. 
This is the Rolo, but I don't think any of ours are Rolo-ish. Mm. Okay, and then, and then that's it. All right, so still I didn't come up with a, a price. So I, I have to just kind of throw a number at it because I didn't find one exactly like it. I didn't find one. I mean, I didn't actually finish searching out. Let me slap on Steampunk and open Steampunk and open up a new tab and see what what we find. So just from what I'm seeing, maybe I'll put the $18.99 mark on it because I don't see one just like it. And it's, I mean, to me, it's not, I'm not looking at it thinking, wow, this is amazing. I, I really need to, but then again, you know, it's not me that's buying it, so... I don't know, maybe that's too low. I can always change it. All right, so let me get my listing rolling and I will share with you what I've decided. Okay, let me show you what I've got so far. My title is Antiqued Bronze Chain and Pearl Bead Necklace, Multi-Strand Industrial Necklace, Metal and Steampunk Necklace, Distressed Multi-Chain. And then these are the five pictures I chose for my listing. And I decided to put $24.99 on this. Oh, I forgot to select this one, multi-strand necklace, there we go. And then my description is, this unique necklace features a distressed antique style bronze chain with multiple styles of links paired with white pearl beads. Condition minor wear with normal use. Some jump rings are empty, but I am unsure if that was intentional or pearls are missing. So I should say pearl beads, because they are not actual pearls. Measurement approximately 16 inches long. And then I am down here working on my tags. Uh, Bohemian necklace, multi-strand necklace, antique bronze look, antiqued bronze, distressed necklace, industrial steampunk, heavy metal pearls, metal and pearls. But I still need about four more, so I'm going to come around and look at other people's listings. That Somebody mentioned the clasp. Is that a lobster clasp? I think that's what that's called. Let's see if that's what they have on theirs. Yes, so I can put down here lobster clasp. Although I'm not sure how many people are actually looking for lobster clasp, but who knows? Why not? Antique brass chain. So antique, and I'm putting antiqued brass chain because mine is not actually an antique. Then let's look. Okie dokie, so I have got my listing ready. Let me adjust my thumbnail, see if I need to move it around any. I can increase it, scooch it. Maybe I'll scooch it back a little bit. It's not the best, best picture, but that's okay. I wonder why I didn't take, because usually I'll take pictures on black and on white just to kind of give myself options when it comes to this point, but I didn't, so there you have it. All right, I'm going to publish this view my listing, and then I will go copy it over onto eBay. Next piece that I got from the jewelry bag unboxing was this one, and I couldn't remember for the life of me what this style was called, but luckily I've got good friends who, in the video, Angie Martin was able to tell me that this is called Festooned, and then in our group, Jewelry Lovers and Sellers on Facebook, she posted a link to what festooned jewelry looks like. And also this one was branded, or it's, it's labeled Rachel, which I was not familiar with the brand. Here it is. Um, was not familiar with the brand, but someone in the chat, I wish I could remember who right now, or in the um, comment section, was able to tell me that, no, this is not a um, vintage brand, so I won't be listing this on Etsy, just on eBay. So this is why I say uh, at the end of the videos, you know, take a look at the comment section below because a lot of times there are things that I have questions about or people have lots of great information that leave comments in the comment section. So make sure to take a look down there and join the conversation when you uh, get done watching or if you have things along the way that you'd like to add because we are all learning from each other. So <laughs> I got to be honest, it took me a while to figure out uh, first of all, the the brand, Rachel, you think it would be really easy, but it was challenging for me. So first off, this is the the um, website that uh, who, that Angie shared about festooned jewelry. And I went ahead and pulled it out because I thought I might be able to find some 
good keywords there. And I found a few, you know, there, there were some good keywords for sure. But what I was trying to find out was what is it called? Like, because this one is festoon where it's just sort of like a little garland that goes around and around. Um, but this one has got this big kind of statement piece in the middle that everything ends up connecting to. And I wanted to find out what exactly that's called. I mean, I can call it open work. I can call it, but there's this like big piece, you know, is it, is it called a bib? Is it called something else? <clears throat> so, uh, I did a little digging for that as well. And then I think it looks a bit Art Nouveau-ish. I mean, it's Art Nouveau-ish styled sort of. I'm kind of a mishmash of a few different things, distressed and whatnot. And it's got that antiqued bronze look again, like the last one. So I did a search for bib necklace just to see what came up. And this one did come up with sort of that festooned and bib style. I mean, this is typically more what I think of when I think of a bib style necklace. But <clears throat> And then from there, it went on, you know, festooned bib necklace. I, again, couldn't find one exactly like what I was looking for that connected into one big piece. So statement piece, festooned bib necklace. I just kept adding a keyword on it as I went to see if I could get more detail. So when I clicked on just festooned necklace, this one came up that had that piece that everything was connecting onto. So I went from there to try to figure out what that was called. And I just have to say these necklaces become so gorgeous. I, I'm, I got chill bumps the first time I was looking at them because they're so beautiful. And I'm getting chill bumps again just looking at them here because it's just amazing jewelry. <laughs> so they did not name what, what it was called when the chains join into one big piece. I was really hoping for that. Uh, flowing scroll, scrolling foliate and garland motif accented with small seed pearl. So no, it did not give me a name for what that, and honestly I didn't find something like that. So here I did a search for festoon necklace. That was the images that pulled up uh, revival brass. Again, they just called it the centerpiece. So everything connects onto this centerpiece. And then again here, this one did not Gosh, look how gorgeous these are. Sorry, I just got lost in festoon necklaces. And looking for keywords. That's what I was doing. Yeah, right? Looking for keywords. Look at this one, guys. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, yeah, I never did find... I'm mean, Seriously, I get chill bumps looking at these. They're so beautiful. <laughs> oh, look at this one with the scarab. How cool. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on. That's not why we're here. Um, so, I, I found this one. Art Nouveau necklace, earring set, Art Deco... Um, and it has this sort of ma main piece in the middle. Let's see what they called it down here. Necklace and design hand painted. So they, they didn't actually say what that, I mean, and if you know, leave a comment down below because I could never really find if there was a word for that. I'm sure there must be, you know, but I could never find it. Here I am just looking. Again, it did not say what the main piece is there. So Art Nouveau Antique Brass Festoon Necklace is what I typed in to see if I could find some more keywords or something else similar when I selected on the next tab. Again, I couldn't find anything quite, quite like it. I typed the same search, Antique Brass Art Nouveau Festoon Necklace, into Etsy to see what popped up. And there were a few. This one was in the right vein. I mean, of course, it's not exactly the same. And then I kept this one up because I, I have to remember that it's kind of got that Art Nouveau-ish look to it, you know, filigree sort of look to it, just to get some keywords. And then I started looking up Rachel because I didn't know what Rachel brand was. So there are a couple of different Rachel brands. There's Rachel Roy, and there was also Rachel something else. Rachel, oh boy, now I can't find it. There were a couple, but... Turns out it is this Rachel Roy brand and not the other. So I finally found a necklace that had the same tag. That's what I was looking for. One that had the same little tag on it like mine has. So now I can go and list it. This listing ended. I think this one was a sold. Yes, this one sold for $15. 
I am thinking that I'm going to sell mine for more. I mean, this because this is a $15 one that's just sort of these like gold discs on it. So I will be listing mine for much more. So let me get started on my listing and I'll share with you what I have gone with. So the title I'm starting with is Rachel Roy Antiqued Brass Festoon. I think I'm going to put Festoon and Necklace. Art Nouveau style beaded necklace. And I really wanted to get the words like open work in there or something else, but I only have four characters left. Oh, I can. I can take out necklace again. Yahoo! Rachel Roy Antique Brass Festoon Necklace Art Nouveau style beaded. And I've got basically three characters left. I try to get as much in there as I can, but I'm not sure that there's... My, I mean, I guess I can type in the word bib. There we go. Boom! <laughs> I try to get as many in there as I can. <laughs> so here we go. I will copy and paste my title as my first line in my listing, like so. Description. The stunning necklace features a large centerpiece in antiqued brass with festooning chains and dangling beads. Awesome. Condition. Let me double check on the condition and make sure I'm not missing any little beads. No, I don't see any little beads missing. Everything looks to be intact. Normal wear, distressed look, and then measurement. So this was 12 inches to that point, and then all the way to there, so about approximately 18 inches. And then I'm also going to put centerpiece measures approximately about two and a half, approximately two and a half inches wide by one and a half inches tall. Okay, make sure I'm not missing anything. I need to take my condition and pop it up top, right there. Add my photos. Now, pricing. What do we think? I am looking at sold of Rachel Roy. Let's do Rachel Roy necklace and look at solds. And again, it's not the be-all, end-all, but I think my mine is pretty cool. But I do want to get a feeling for what they're kind of going for. I am thinking I'm going to do $29.99 with best offer. Automatically decline offers lower than $14.99. And then my weight, I'm putting probably 11 ounces or so in there. And then I'm going to take a peek and make sure it all looks like what I want it to look like. Okie dokie, so that is that. Thanks so much, you guys. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. I make videos about reselling online, uh, frequently in the form of haul videos, sales videos, and tutorials. I also make videos that are a little more fun, such as unboxings and things like that. Also, take a look in the comments below because often there's really good discussions going on about other tips for reselling online. Thanks again for watching. Bye.